guys and welcome to card making with crystal today i'm going to show you how to make this really cute card so it's like this and it opens like this and it's amazing it's perfect for obviously a well-dressed gentleman it'll be good for father's day or any executive let's make it this is all you need to make the card the measurements are in the description box Let's start by making a jacket. You need two pieces of paper that are two and a quarter by five and a quarter. You measure across the top at one and a quarter. And up from the base at one inch, and that's for your scoring line, which we'll do later. Then you're gonna put it at the top here and measure at three quarter inches, one and a half inches, and one and five eighths of an inch. You're gonna take the measurements across and go at that three quarter inch line and you're measuring one quarter inch come down at the one and a half inch line you're measuring at three eighths and then down at the five eighths and you're measuring at one eighth inches then you're gonna join the lines that you just measured from the top to there and just follow as i do it follow along with me so from the one and a half and one and a quarter inch across to that first line and make it just like that and then you're going all the way down to the one inch so it should look like this now we're gonna join the two and just measure the top at the one and a half across one and a quarter across sorry and at the one inch up now we're gonna score from that one and a quarter inch to the one inch mark on both pieces of paper And you're gonna take up your pieces and line them up see them both scored nicely you're gonna line them up and we're gonna cut off that section that we just marked off there all right now you're taking that and you're folding on your score line and scoring on both sides and that is your jacket so put those aside and grab what you need for the color of your shirt this piece of paper is two and three eighths by one and one eighth you're measuring across the top at three quarter inches then down on that side at one quarter inches then at the bottom at three quarter inches then you're folding it in half because it's a color so we need it to be equal on both sides and you're gonna measure down half of an inch and now you're gonna join all of those dots that you made so basically you're gonna join the three quarter inch to the quarter inch then to the three quarter inch and then back up to the half inch while it's folded so that you can then cut it but you're cutting it so when you start cutting it make sure you remember where the opening is you see i'm checking the opening there right so now you're cutting to leave a tiny bit of space still joined at the part where you folded it so if you look what i'm doing here right and there you go see so you want it to be joined now let's move on to the tie you're going to take a piece of paper that's five inches by three quarter inches you're going to mark off one quarter inches in the center so you're marking at a quarter inch and half inch to get that quarter inch mark and you're going to measure up a half of an inch at the bottom now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off that half inch section because that's for the top of the tie and we're going to take that section and mark off a quarter inch on the top of it as well just like how we measured for the tie and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut from the three quarter inch to the quarter inch see that's the top of your tie and now you're going to do the same thing um, for the actual tie itself so you're measuring you're cutting from the quarter inch on top all the way down to where it's three quarter inches at the bottom so now you have your tie all right see so i'm just marking it up here to see where it's joined and if there's any excess i'm going to cut it off and put that aside now we're going to make the pocket you're going to take a piece of paper that is one and a half by one and a half inches and measure up a quarter of an inch on each side 
and then measure the center, which is which will be three quarter inches. And we're gonna cut it to make it look like a pocket. So you're cutting from the quarter to the three quarter inch mark. And there you have it. And now you're gonna have a small piece to put at the top, which is one quarter by the full one and a half inches. Right? Now we have your card base that's four and a quarter by 11. You're scoring at five and a half and two and three quarter. And you're gonna fold and burnish in all your score lines. And there is the easel feature of your card. I'll show you how to put it together later. You're taking the base card, which will be five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're gonna stick down this piece, which is five by four on it. But before we stick it on, I'm just gonna mark the middle section of it. So we know where to place our tie. You're gonna put some glue and stick that down um, on your card, leaving that space at the top there for the design of the color and the tie and I'm gonna mark up the color on top to make sure the middle is where I put that mark and then I'm gonna make another mark where the color lays on the um on the card so that I can know where to put the tie or where to line up the tie so that it doesn't come above the color because obviously a tie comes under your color. So we're sticking down the um, tie there now and I have a little helper there if you see here in the corner <laughs> and then we're sticking when I'm mocking up the tie to make sure I like how it look cutting off the excess and then we're going to put some glue there and stick the tie down so that tie is smacked in the middle of the shirt now perfectly and we don't have to worry about the measurements of it anymore um, or the placement of it I should say now we're going to stick down the color as it um, is already centered on the tie. So we're centering it perfectly on the shirt. Then we're going to stick that top of the pocket to it. And stick this down on one side of your jacket. I like it on the right hand side. Or, well, based on how the jacket will be worn on the left hand side. You can put it on the right. This is card making you do what you want. Cut off the excess. And there you have your beautiful jacket. Um, now we're gonna stick down the, um, the labels so that they are flat and beautiful. And now we're gonna stick this down just on the white part so it's exactly lined up with the white section. Make sure it's stuck down right, it comes up like a jacket. It's really beautiful. Now you can see the entire card sort of coming together and it looks so amazing. You're gonna add a um, button and now we're gonna stick a layer on the inside to make sure it's, um, and stick something beautiful, like you could stick a desk, I stuck the Leaning Tower of Pisa, it's beautiful, and then we're gonna stick the top there to the only the top section of the card. I'm gonna show you now, you see? So it's only the top section, you're leaving that middle section open and that's for the easel feature. Right, see? That's how it opens like an easel card. So now I'm gonna make a sentiment. This is an eighth of an inch and I'm measuring it by two inches and then I'm putting it on a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna cut that by two and a quarter inches and a half of an inch and that's gonna cut by two and a half inches. So then you're gonna put the small sentiment on a, a layer and then another layer. And then we're going to put a piece of foam tape so that it could raise off the actual card and have that kind of dimension. And that's what's going to hold down or hold up, I should say, the easel section of the card. So if you see, I'm going to just, I'm showing you how it can look if you want to put a sentiment on the front of the card also. But really the sentiment fits perfectly right there. We're going to stick it right there. Yeah.
while we made this suit easel card. If you like this video, be sure to actually like the video, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any content, and stay crafty my friends.